What is going on my skiing friends and family? It is leg day today and we're getting a workout in. How are we gonna do that on Whistler Mountain? Well, we're gonna boot pack up Flute Bowl. I'm gonna show you guys what Flute Bowl is all about. It's inbounds, hike access terrain on Whistler Blackcomb and it's kind of like the crown jewel of the mountain. It's controlled by the ski patrol so you don't have to carry avi gear, nothing like that. You can just hike up in your boots or in your skins. It is a beautiful day and, and we're gonna cook some pancakes at the top because we've got to carve up if we're gonna do this a couple times today. Boot packing, believe it or not, is actually probably faster than using skins and transitioning. Try and get some speed. We're at the start of the flute up track right now. There is an avalanche transceiver testing station. You're gonna use that if you're going to the backcountry. The flute's not flute's not considered the backcountry, so you're not gonna have to use it. Up at the top here, there's a symphony chair. You just ski down, zoop, right here, get some speed and pop on over. 10:23 a.m. and we're gonna start boot packing. And I'm I haul ass, I haul ass when I hike, so we'll see uh, we'll see if we can pass any of these skinners um, on the way up. So I'm gonna put some tunes on and I'm gonna get hiking. I'm getting pretty toasty already and it's only been a few minutes. I got my goggles on so my eyes don't sear and my Ryzen Alpine threads on my head to keep my hair even warmer than it already is. Look at the views already, guys. It's only gonna get better. And here's the steepest part of the whole flute boot pack. If you wanna support your boy, rep the merch, it's in the link below. I've got toques, I've got shirts, and I got some stickers to stick wherever you like sticking stuff. So check it out. Appreciate all the support even if you're just watching. But if you wanna cop some merch, that's killer as well. Cardio day, baby. Let's get it. I hate it, but I love it. You guys ever seen P90X? I hate it, but I love it. Flute, Flute ball. Ball. I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> now the views are starting to get beautiful. Look at the people skiing in the symphony, like ants. Holy hell. Look at these views, guys. Just unbeatable. So in that cloud right beneath us, that's actually checking this lake. So it's fully cloud covered and a bit of fog right now. But when you're up here and you can see checking this lake, man, whew, you're gonna go as stiff as a carrot. It is so beautiful, but this, this fog look is also amazing. Look at this, guys. Don't wanna ski off this side unless you're trying to go swimming and checking this lake. Oh man, look at these views, guys. And that's all there is to it, guys. We have arrived at the Flute Summit. There it is. Pretty sweet. The time is 10. 36 so that only took us 13 minutes that's nothing if you want to lap it on a pow day that's absolutely no problem hiking up flute is super simple i'll show you the ski routes down once i'm done the most important part of my day my breakfast i think this is the perfect spot to eat let's get this party started let's get our stove set up here super complicated recipe an entire box of uh, Aunt Jemima original pancakes on the mountain. It spilled quite a bit in the bag. I've got a little thing of syrup here. I've got a hunk of butter right there. Chocolate chips, those are gonna be delicious. And I got some banana. Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna put you on top of my pancakes. You wouldn't believe how bright this freaking sun is right now. Step one, make the batter. I'm sure there's instructions. I don't follow instructions. So we're gonna put a hunk of batter into our little magic bullet cup here. We need water. Some people make cooking look pretty and beautiful. I make it look like a complete disaster until we get it going. There we go. We're going big. I need those carbs. Oh, that beautiful pow. We're not getting pow on the mountain, but I'm getting pow in this pancake mix. All right. Oh, now I, did, now I did too much water. Now these are watery. I can't find that happy medium. Oh, I've got pancake mix all over my body. Feels great. Drop a couple chocolate chips in. <laughs> that seems about right. <laughs> Stir them up. Oh yeah. I dropped a bunch of chocolate chips from this. Eating them. Out of the snow. Dropped a bunch of chocolate chips, eating them. 
out of the snow. Like a wild freaking animal. Oh yeah. Now is that gonna fall or is that gonna stay? Who knows? Huge dollop of margarine. You know how I like to do it with my finger. There we go. See how this goes. I usually make little ones. Mmm. Mmm. It actually tastes like cardboard box. This pancake mix had been in my truck for about eight months. Well, let's hope that cooks well. The chances of this pancake not actually getting stuck to the pan are about uh, one in 50. I forgot I had a lid. Pancake chug for the boys. Cheers. Mm. Gotta love that dough. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. Come on. Oh no. Oh god no. Please pancake. Just this one time. Oh no. Well, kinda. Kinda worked. I definitely wouldn't call this gourmet and that's the reason why I am a skiing, fishing, and hiking channel and not a cooking channel. I just cook for shits. But I'm not like out here making pretty ass meals. It's gonna taste real good. Let me tell you that much for free. Okay, that's kind of a pancake. <laughs> it's gonna taste good. Well, this next one's just gonna get stuck on whatever else is on here. Pancake number two, please. There's those chocolate chips. Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> well, that's gonna be an ugly one. Brought no cloth, just my tongue. Here's pancake number one. Oh man. That thing's gotta be, oh my god. <laughs> this is incinerated. You think that's cooked? I think so. I think that's cooked. Maybe I'll call my mom, double check. Hey mom, this chicken cooked? I may have never told you this, but I like my pancakes. Well done. <laughs> I need like a, um, a crowbar. I need a crowbar to get this pancake off. Two ugly pancakes coming right up. I'm gonna eat this pan here. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be good. All this burnt shit. Mm. Oh, not that. I like this sound. That's nice. Can't have a meal. Can't have a breakfast without a banana. There we go. Bon appetit. It's time to eat. I've outdone myself today. Chocolate chip pancakes on flute bowl. Here we go. Here's the syrup. Maybe just test it just to make sure it's okay. Ah, oh, Canadian maple, baby. Cover it up. Oh, man. Smothered in syrup. This looks great, guys. Let's take the first couple bites. Oh, mm, tastes like heaven, baby. Oh, that's good. You can't beat a mountain meal like this. You can't beat Flute Bowl and Whistler. This is just too much. This is too much. I think I'm going to tear up my goggles on. I'm gonna stare out at the mountain and enjoy this meal. Shut up for a minute or two. Damn, that's good. I think I ate that in about one minute and 10 seconds. I'm gonna chug some water. I'm gonna clean this area up. And then we're gonna go ski on some sheet ice. I'm gonna hate myself by the end of the day. Oh, best day ever, man. I have like a mountain of syrup in here. I brought enough syrup. I think I brought like a half cup of syrup. Like, look at it. I barely used it. There's three essential things in life for every Canadian. You never want to run out of water. You never want to run out of beer. And you never, number one, you never want to run out of maple syrup. You can only survive two days without maple syrup. That's what they say. Breakfast was beyond successful. And believe it or not, a couple of clouds are actually moving in. So what good timing. Anyways, 
flute builds up quite the cornice and it is pretty burly so it's 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 good to know kind of where you're dropping in there's some spots that are better than others if you head off that way into the back country that's uh, known as the musical bumps singing pass so oboes that way um it's kind of funny all the names are right piccolo flute oboe so once you get up to the flute summit sign you can pop your skis on and you can pretty much skate the rest of the way the groomers have made it awfully hard to get over the edge right now <laughs> pretty funny so here is probably one of the better spots to take a good look at the main part of the flute bowl. It's a burly cornice. I mean, if you want to jump off the middle cornice, you totally can when the conditions are, are mint. Um, just don't stand on it for too long because cornices can always snap. The easiest way kind of into the main bowl is right off those top corners. It just kind of rolls right over, kind of kind of easy to get in. But these, these, uh, these cornices are definitely harder. My favorite route you can actually see from here, basically I like jumping off that, uh, that cornice at the top up, coming straight down and then jumping off that little little cliff rock right there and then there's a second kind of rock so there's the flute bowl main there's lots of good routes coming down there and then if you come kind of off the corner there that's known as Stewie's slope so coming down this way this is known as Encore Ridge so you can take this ridge the whole way down and then you have to hike up again and you can essentially ski it all the way down and loop back around to the bottom of symphony chair that little that little extra bump up there that's called lesser flute so you, you usually find some powder tracks in there because a lot of people don't want to go for an extra hike after they've kind of done a hike and you're wasting a lot of fall line by going down but you can get some really sweet kind of tree skiing turns um, in there on lesser flute we're gonna ski around down Encore Ridge because the snow isn't anything special today so I don't got any FOMO and I just want to show you guys the uh want to show you guys the lines from all possible angles so this gives you a really good view of this side so that's called the north bowl so now we're in the north bowl and we're out of the main flute bowl so now this is the north bowl area those kind of rocks right there those are known as the flute shoots those are super steep you can even come up from the top of the cornice there when the snow is heavy enough and that is a gnarly gnarly line so there's not any super easy entrances along the whole north bowl cornice right now you'd have to go for quite the drop in and today is not the uh not the day to go for a big drop but for the sake of this video, I'm going to pop my skis off and I'm going to hike you guys up Lesser Flute just so you guys can see it. That's a better view of the flute shoots. As you can see, those are definitely triple blacks. You can kind of come off the cornice in the corner and loop around above the cliffs. When the snow's soft, they can be super, super fun, but uh, you definitely got to be careful on them. We are on the top of Lesser Flute. Um, there's the North Bowl and we've got the main bowl kind of tucked behind there where those rocks are. The runs down here are great for those guys who want that like kind of, uh, they want less of a cornice, easier entrance and some some awesome kind of tree skiing. Because as you can see here, kind of when you get to the bottom here, you're getting some sweet tree lines. You can also kind of hug to the right a bit and get some nice glade skiing. So if you want less of a steep fall line and you want to take it like a bit more kind of casual, then uh, then that's the best route. If you get up here and it's everything's too much for your skill level, you can make your way down the ridge here. You can ski it down Encore Ridge, or you could even slide on your butt once you get over the ridge there, just down. Um, the finish to flute is where you can see the snowboarder right now. It's this little ski out. It's a long cat track, and that takes you back into, uh, and that takes you back down to the bottom of the symphony chair. It's time to ski down this stuff. I like hiking in a toque, but I'm gonna pop, uh, pop a helmet on because if I fall, it's gonna be like falling on granite. All right, let's go. My helmet is strapped up. My spirits are high and my stomach is full. Let's go ski some freaking sheet ice, baby. You know, you come to the mountain to ski and I've been putting off this moment for so long because of the ice. You know, some come to ski, I just come to eat. Ah, it's not bad. <laughs> ah, rusty. Ah. This though, not pleasurable today. So there's a great view of lesser flute from the front. Kind of, you can see all those lines. Best line, you kind of come off the top and you kind of come off that little shelf there and just ski straight down, lose no fall line. 
you can see, man, if you got blower powder and you're coming off here, coming off the shoulder, kind of down around through here, oh, you're gonna have such a good run. And there's the main bowl right there, Stewie Slope kind of poking out. This is the exit track, so whichever direction you come from the flute bowl, you're gonna finish on this exit track and it links into the glissando glades. Those are actually super fun trees. They're super mellow and you can just play around in them real good. But yeah, just no matter where you go, it's gonna feed you into the exit track. So if it's foggy, don't be concerned. Just make sure that you're always gonna take a left turn at some point and head back down to the chair. I said I'd do it twice, so I'm gonna do it twice. No fun just doing it once. I'm gonna ski flute shoulder, which is the longest kind of sustained nice ride. And you come off that little bump right there, you stay kind of the left side, and that's the flute's shoulder. So we're gonna go do that. It's on right kind of beside the North Bowl before the flute shoots. Sunshine feels good, eh? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I can't think about that. Maybe it'll soften up by like 5 p.m. <laughs> After my second flute hike of the day, it was slightly harder with a full stomach, but had lots of energy. I'm back at the top of flute and I'm gonna ski the flute shoulder. So it's kind of like this hump. It looks like a cornice, but you can actually just roll right over this section right here, even though it looks spooky. If you go to the right that way, that's kind of the cornice into the flute shoots. But if you stay kind of off this edge, you're gonna be on the flute, uh, you're gonna be on the flute shoulder. So we'll ski down it, we'll enjoy the crunch and then, uh, and then that'll probably be it. There's not too much skiing to be done today on this crunchy stuff. There's no cornice signs coming down here, so that's your, your sign, that's your ticket that you're in the right spot. Uh, it's gonna be junk, but as you can see, right once you look over, it gets a lot more comforting, right? The shoulders, sweet fall line, you can just go straight or you can cut right down. I think it's called Pig's Fancy. And then the chutes are to the right. Oh, that's ice as hell. Yeah! Oh yeah. <laughs> so there you can see, you can kind of come off that side of the shoulder and come down. That's a sweet run too, just however you want to do it. It almost looks like it's a bit of crusty pow, boys. Not horrible. <laughs> oh, if only there wasn't this crust, this would be bliss. Looks like we got some clouds moving in, so what marvelous timing. Now the clouds that were lower are kind of moving up higher. You can see Chequemus Lake now kind of poking out and there's flute bowl in all of its glory. Not so glorious today, but my breakfast is glorious and that was a lot of fun. I'm gonna head to, uh, I'm gonna head over to the peak chair and we're gonna do a little suffer fest today. I parked in Creekside for the first time and who knows how long. So I'm just gonna do a little suffer fest and ski top to bottom ice from peak down to the creek. So we'll see you over there before we end this off. Oh my God, I accidentally just spilt my whole bottle of hot sauce on the ground. That was supposed to go in my mouth. <laughs> oh God. Well, there's still some hot sauce left. <laughs> We're at Peak to Creek and I want to put myself through the ultimate suffer fest 
It's so icy that patrol is recommending not to ski off piste. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ski Peaky Creek from top to bottom on an ice sheet after taking a shot of hot sauce. Cause I haven't had my hot sauce yet today. Cheers guys. <laughs> Let the suffer fest begin. My throat's burning, my stomach's burning, and soon my knees and my thighs are gonna be burning as well. Leave the crime scene, run from the scene, hit and run, hot sauce and run. So this is where the grooming ends and the suffering begins. Let's do it, baby. This just looks like S-H-I-P-A. Fest, but it's a supper fest where we can't even see. You guys wanted to suffer too, eh? Uh, <laughs> Rest area, yeah, who the hell needs that? Woo! They're gonna blow. Full three, yeah! Woo! That's what soft still feels like, I forgot. No stopping! Never! Oh, my quad! Love it! Well, that rip down Peak to Creek was absolutely hilarious. It was actually the best snow I had all day, even though there wasn't much of it. That spring slush felt pretty good under my feet, but mixed in with the fog made for an interesting end of the day. My thighs are screaming and my knees are upset, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, flute Bowl was killer today. I'm so stoked I got to show you guys around the Flute Bowl, show you what it's all about, kind of some of the good routes. And most importantly, I got to eat chocolate chip pancakes. I love pancakes, they were delicious. Anyways, now you guys can go play in flute bowl when the snow, you know, fixes up. We need a big reset here. We need some big snowfall. So fingers crossed for some snowfall because uh, skiing on ice like that's a little bit painful. But it's always better to get out in the mountain than sit at home, sit on the couch. That's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, get out in the mountain, even if it's icy, have a bit of fun and keep on shredding. I'll see you next time.